Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Louise and I wanted to share a video today on why it's so important to follow our own path and not somebody else's. And this really comes from joining yet another kind of free container course that leads on to a paid, uh, a paid funnel course. And uh, I never really had any intention to do the, the paid course. It was actually kind of mis, mis, uh, <laughs> mispromoted to me a little bit. And I thought I'll just give it a go and uh, just, you know, see what it is. And uh, yet again, it's this same thing where it's trying to promote a fear of, like a fear of missing out in people, even though it, it you know, it's supposed to be spiritual people. Um, it's again trying to use these ma manipulative marketing techniques, in my opinion, to really hit on somebody's FOMO, you know, fear of missing out. And if they don't do this course and they're never going to achieve and, you know, the only way for them to move forward is to invest in themselves. And of course, that investing in themselves is your course. It's not go away and tune in and see if you see which course you resonate with. It's always, you know, the only way to invest in yourself is investing in our course. And I'm sure we've all witnessed this and seen this and we know it exists. And I'm not going to name any names or, you know, um, out any people. I saw this so much in the uh, twin flame field as well. And, you know, people are very easily manipulated when it comes to money and love because we feel so sad or so desperate when we don't have it. And it's like a core need as a human, right? Love and, you know, money and security and safety. And when we don't have that, uh, we feel kind of desperate and, and we're very easily manipulated on those things, right? And sometimes it's not even purposeful manipulation. So I think I've done a video on this before that I actually used to do these sessions with this twin flame couple and you know they had achieved what I wanted I'm not gonna say any labels but they had what's you know they they clearly had a very beautiful spiritual relationship and I don't even believe they were manipulative actually because they never made any promises they never tried to push people into things they really were you know see if you feel guided but what I noticed about the people doing this course was that they were all starting to essentially emulate this couple and speak like them, um, type like them, almost think like them. And I started to realize that they were all just becoming the same the same person, but none of them were actually getting the thing that they really wanted by doing the course. And I think this, and it's the same when you see people that are very you know, have very, a lot of these wealth people, um, basically they made a lot of their wealth by YouTube and then selling courses, right? And they're very good at marketing and then they are going to teach you how to be successful on YouTube. But what I've noticed in these people is when you actually look at them, they might have done a few courses, but it wasn't really that, that the change for them. They actually, most people that I've seen that are bigger on YouTube, they just were really passionate about it and they felt guided and they just jumped on and they learned as they went and they made mistakes and they just built and they built some traction and, you know, they had that just growth period, right? And very rarely did I see that they were, f they just joined and they were following specific steps from a course. It, it, it wasn't like that, you know, even if you look at someone like Mr. Beast, you can tell that he didn't, I don't really watch him by the way, but I'm pretty sure that he doesn't come across like the kind of character that had this big master plan of how to get big on YouTube. And I remember one of the biggest people on the early days of YouTube was Trisha Paytas, right? A blogger. And when you saw her, she definitely didn't have this great master plan of blowing up on YouTube. She actually very clearly, certainly not the beginning anyway, very clearly was just jumping on. She was crying on camera, having breakdowns on the kitchen floor. People just identified with her story and she grew that way. And then these people go out and they're like, we're going to teach you how to get big on YouTube. But I don't really believe it's such a I don't believe it's sure you can learn how to trick the algorithm, etc. But to really do well as a creator, I honestly believe that it's not this formula and one thing works for everybody. I believe there's so much more to it, like energy and, you know, tapping into what actually inspires you and excites you. Like I know from myself from doing art that when I just started and I was just painting and creating, people would just come to me and ask to buy. And then once I started actually worrying about money or thinking, you know, about making money from it, actually it was like a repellent. 
uh, because there's that certain energy when we just love what we're doing and we're passionate about what, we, what we're doing. And I suppose the point of this video, I'm going a bit off topic, is that you have your own specific journey and your own path. And yes, we can go and take little bits from successful people and take seeds and, and look at their path and look at how they ended up where they did in a place that we would like to end up. But we do have to remember that we can't just copy these people. We can't just become these people. That's their journey. And in my opinion, it never works out when I see people just really trying to become someone else, essentially. It isn't going to work. You have to become you. You have to become more authentically you. And you have to go on your own journey, your own path, work through your own wounds and find your own information, you know, sure, little bits from different people, but you're not just going to go do one course and it's going to fix all your problems. I honestly do not believe that is what we're here to do or what we're meant to do. I really believe that we're here to integrate and truly find ourselves and then have that shine outwards. We're not here to just join somebody's course, pay for it and essentially like mirror them or follow all their steps that they have didn't even follow at the time. They've gone back and thought of these steps. When they actually were getting going, they weren't doing those steps. They were just out there enjoying it and having fun and becoming more of themselves and healing themselves and the outer just followed you know how many people do you know that have done a, a relationship course and came out of it and, and didn't have a relationship and then with this recent um you know twin flame universe that was that there was a documentary about the cool i mean i witnessed that and i think that was partially this is my personal opinion is because they promised union from their course and it wasn't happening because the thing that worked for them wasn't enough to work for everybody else because there's a lot more involved you can't just you know you can't just go and learn from like two people and essentially mirror them and that's going to work for your journey because it's such a process but what I saw happening was that it wasn't really working, their promise. So then they thought, well, if we start partnering people up from the group, they're all on board, they're all into it. They all want this relationship. So this is a fantastic way to show that our course works. And that's what I believe happened there. And um, because they realized that just because a technique worked for them, there was a lot more involved in it. And there was a lot more on their journey and their path that they work through to make that happen. So don't let anybody tell you that there's just one thing or one course or one technique that's going to switch everything for you. I just don't believe it. That's just my opinion. I don't believe it. I've witnessed it so many times and I've never seen one course or one technique sort of bring in everything that a person wants. I've never seen it. Maybe if you have, you can write in the comments and let me know and prove me wrong, but I've never seen it. Uh, and please just just really don't fall for this, you know, FOMO that, that people are trying to create in you these days, this fear of missing out, or that if you don't do this or invest in this, that you're, you're you know, you're never gonna find that happiness or that thing that you want. Like, it's your own, your own journey and your own, process and yes people can offer you seeds but you can find everything within yourself you can you know everything will appear on your journey when it's the right time for it to appear and that can just as easily be in a free youtube video you know do not let yourself be panicked and pushed into doing things thinking it's going to fix all your problems and you're going to have the life that someone else has because you're your own person you have your own path and your own life and sure take bits but don't don't be fooled into thinking that somebody has like a fix for your life. You know, you have the fix for your life. Anyway, I hope everyone is well and uh, speak soon. Bye bye.